Hi everybody. Today I got motivated and updated DataJuggler.DBCompare to a NuGet package and also to .NET 5. It's been a .NET framework project for about 10 years almost. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create your own DBCompare Windows Form project in under 4 minutes. Starting now, go. I'm going to go ahead and close this and open up Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new Windows Forms app. I'll just that. I'm going to select .NET and hit next. I'm going to call this my DB compare, something like that. And I'm going to click create. Give this just a second to load. And now I'm going to close this and I'm going to delete form one. We don't need it. Now I'm going to say manage NuGet packages for solution. I'm going to type in data juggler.dbcompare. Got a new icon today. I'm going to go ahead and install it. But before I install it, I've got to change this to .NET 5. Go ahead and save that. Close it. And now we're going to install this to into our little project here. Okay, now you'll notice these little instructions popped up here. And just for this, I want to give a shout out to this person. I believe his name is pronounced Rick Strahl. If I'm wrong on his name pronunciation, I'm sorry. But he showed me how to create that little tab in a NuGet package when it's open. So big shout out to him. And I'll put a link to that in the description if anybody wants that. That was super cool, I thought. And now I'm going to go ahead and just do what the instructions say and copy this line right here. We're going to open up program.csharp. And we're just going to paste that in there. And now I'm going to close all tabs and hit save. And now can I get a drum roll, please? OK, and we're going to go ahead and hit start. Now the beauty of this is, in GitHub, you had to go check yourself to see if there were any updates. But now, you automatically, if you run this little app you just built, NuGet will notify you if there's any updates. So you can always have the latest version. So that's one benefit of being a NuGet version of this. Now we're going to go ahead and build our connection string really quickly. Oops. Yeah. Dot database dot dev and I'm going to use Windows authentication and test my connection and hit select just for the nature of time I'm just going to copy this because this is the exact same the only difference is the dot dev is not there and now I'm going to hit compare databases okay and I've got a few uh, store procedures that I need to update here in my uh, release version of the database but that was my very short video what do you think do you think that's a pretty neat way to uh, create a first off do you ever need to compare databases like your your own test machine or your development machine against your test server or production server this is a great way to do that but also I think it's kind of cool to be able to just uh, use NuGet and create an application in just a couple of minutes so that was my short video thanks for watching